Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be making obsidian in Sky Factory 3. Hope you guys are ready for this. What we're going to do is we're going to check our book, and it says to make obsidian with a stone barrel. And this this is pretty simple to do. Um, what we're going to need is uh, to set up an area, probably over here, that has a spot for water. A spot of water just like this. And underneath, we're going to put a barrel, and we're going to basically pass a, a lava through it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and get us some stone. I think you need smooth stone. And we're going to look up barrels, because we're going to get a stone barrel. The stone barrel requires a stone slab and smooth stone. So let's get that done. Perfect. So now that we have our stone barrel, we're going to need to make a platform where cobblestone is right here. And let's go ahead and get us some of that cobblestone. Cobblestone slabs. I think 18 is probably good. And we'll just come over here. I think this, this should be fine. Just come right over here. Make us a little platform, a little area, just like this. And right here will be our barrel. It'll go right under this. We're going to need water uh, from the source block. Let's go ahead and get us a bucket of water. As you can see, my farm changed in the last episode. Also, this block is amazing that's under here. It does increase the growth rate of this and these flowers. So this this does affect the gro the crop growth of these magical ag agriculture plants. And that was an awesome drop to get early game. That was an incredible lucky drop. Oops, place that on there. So it's also increasing our dirt. I'm I'm gr grabbing that every time I get the chance. But, like, the crop just grows instantly after I break them, so I can't even keep up with that farm. And I haven't even filled it all the way yet. Okay, so, what I was saying again, get back to that. We're going to need to build our platform down below a little bit farther. Just a little bit over to get to this. Just like so. And we'll place this right here. I think the, the bucket... We'll just go one below, just like that. And above it will be the water, and I think we're good to go. So let's take our bucket of water, place it on top, and you can make obsidian this way. So what you do is you have your crucible right here. If you click it, you can fill it with lava. And whenever you click this into here, it makes obsidian. Just as simple as that. So right now I can, I got two obsidian. I think this holds four buckets. So I can take that, and now I have four obsidian. That's pretty simple. All right, let's see what else we can possibly do. We got that checked off. Make a tinker's construct smeltery for ore process or for processing ores. So the tinker construct smeltery requires a few things. Let's do at tinkers. Okay, so to get to the smeltery part, there it is. We need seared stone bricks. The seared stone bricks come from the sear stone. Uh, it comes from this grout, reference to the Groot. Uh, you have this stuff. You take the sand and gravel and clay and mix it together, and you get grout. And you gotta smelt that down and go even farther. So I need to gather up some of that grout. So let's let me explain what you need to do. You just take your compressed cobblestone which you can do in the uh, compressed drawer, which is simple. You just take that, get yourself your hammer. I need to clean up my inventory a little bit. Let me go ahead and do that. Just pop a few things in here. These ancient spores, I need to keep, you need to keep these ancient spores with you, by the way. They're going to be super useful later on. Just get rid of all this stuff in my inventory. Don't need it right now. Alright, so I just need the compressed cobblestone, I need my hammers, 
about it. I think I have one, I have a new hammer. Okay, there it is. And you just line this out. I use this area over here. You can use wherever is convenient. This is just a nice long area for me to do. Unfortunately, the vein miner does not work on this. So you have to do this manually. You have to break them all manually. And you're just going to need a bunch of a uh, bunch of gravel, like I'm getting right now. And then I'll basically take half of this gravel I'm getting right now, and uh, I'll turn it into sand. And then I'm, I mean, I don't know. I may take half of that and do the, the clay. I don't know how much we're actually going to need. But to get the clay is the only thing that's a pain in the butt because you have to have the water and so I'll have to walk back and forth between a barrel and get that water. Or just, I could just probably take a barrel. But now we have this gravel. I'm going to show you that this thing can also compress gravel. So if you throw this in here, I, I actually threw compressed cobblestone in there, my bad. You take this gravel, throw that in there, now you can get your compressed gravel really fast. And so I'm going to take half of that and turn this into sand. It's a lot faster to mine through this when it's sand. As you can see. A whole lot faster. Alright, and now we have the sand done. And I think we can take half of it. I'll take this stack. And it doesn't actually work with this. So I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't. So we'll just compress this ourselves. Do eight there. And now we'll have eight. This, which should make a bit of dust. Probably more than what we need. But we'll have clay for later. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot more clay than we need. But we should have enough sand, I think. Well, we have 36 sand. We need to compress more gravel. This is compressed gravel. Let's uncompress it and see what we get. We got two stacks. We can probably get away with this 44. Being sand. Let's go ahead and compress it. That's four. All right, so we we got that done, and now let's go ahead and turn this dust into clay. So what we're gonna need is a barrel. Barrel's super simple to make. Throw that in there. We're gonna go over here by our water and place this barrel. Right, let's place it right here. That's fine. Um, and just gives us quick access to this water, so we can throw this sand in there. You click the sand in there. You got clay. Clay block. So you just rotate back and forth. Okay, basically just doing this over and over again. So you get quite a bit of clay. And I think these clay, yeah, it's full on clay blocks. That's what I thought. Um, keep placing the dust in there. And make sure you don't accidentally click the wrong water source. I have a backup over here just in case, so I'm fine there. But I'll go ahead and get this done, and then I can get it get it cooking. The quicker we get it cooking, the faster we can get it up. All right, so if we remember right, you take. We'll we'll actually use the recipe to get this done. All right, so you take the seared brick, take the grout, and shift click, and it'll put everything that you have in there available. So that's a stack of 64, and we can throw that in there. I think we need almost two stacks to build this thing, or more. Probably more than that, because we're going to need... Let's see, I like to do a 3 by 3 so that's 6, that's, that's 12, so that'll be 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, so... Yeah, we're gonna need quite a bit. And we just let this basically cook up. And that's it. So in the next episode, we are going to continue to build that. Uh, in this episode, basically, the main thing I wanted to get to, uh, through to you guys is the how to uh, make obsidian. So we got that. 
Um, but in the next episode, we should have that smeltery close to almost ready to go. Uh, we'll have to make all this stuff and get it up so we can start doubling our ores. As you can see, uh, what you get is this copper ore chunks. You get these ore chunks is what you get. And before, in the old, in uh, 2.5, I think you had to combine these. I mean, they, they kept going. Like, you had to make it into blocks and then break those and continue on down the line. So it was even more grindy. This is a lot better because what you get is what you get. Um, these sieves right here just gives you more depending on what kind of sieve you're using. So right here I have the heavy flint mesh and here I have the iron stiff mesh and then once I get enough diamond I'm going to create the diamond one and uh, we should be good to go. So if you guys enjoyed this episode please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>